Hi, my name is OK Enya. Um, I was born in Illinois, grew up in Chicago. Um, I'm the oldest of six children of Nigerian parents. Um, part of my background is in medicine, public health, and health policy, and I wanted to share um, part of my experience uh, becoming a self-care enthusiast. Um, while I was in med school, it was uh, a pretty challenging time. Um, I went to a predominantly white institution uh, for med school, and I was one of a few black males in my cohort. And so, and then this was in a very rural part of the state. Uh, and so, uh, it was a very hostile, toxic environment. Um, and I would experience racial microaggressions pretty much every day in some form or fashion. Um, and, that, and, and that took a large toll on me because um, I didn't necessarily have the support um, that I needed to do well, um, or at least at my peak in med school. And um, I fell into a depression after about, I think, my first year. Um, and I, I, I didn't know at the time that I was depressed. Um, I just, because I was raised just to, you know, to excel, to do well, to finish, to, to you know, to be strong, all those messages about, you know, the need to excel and, and to perform um, at your best and to, you know, push through. So it wasn't until the, 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 uh, uh, a time during um, my med school experience where I was on the verge of dropping out of med school. And it was during one of the hearings uh, to consider the question of my dismissal was where one of uh, the faculty just kind of mentioned the fact that uh, he had observed a change in my behavior um, and it didn't really uh, click with me at that point um, until he said that, you know, he, that, uh, he noticed that I was depressed. Uh, and so, um, you know, kind of throughout the whole experience, I was able to um, to transition from med school. I left med school and I moved back home. I, it took about a year and a half to recalibrate, um, just to kind of get myself back together. Uh, and it was also at that time where I just, you know, came face to face with some childhood issues as well. Just overall, just a an overhaul of um, issues that had to be addressed. Um, and so I was thankful that I had, uh, my fraternity brothers actually that were very helpful, um, in kind of putting language to what I was feeling and, and really, um, uh, helping me to move further into my recovery. Um, and, and so, um, you know, I was able to um, get back into school to get my MPH. Um, now pursuing a doctorate in public health with, health with a focus in health policy, and so part of that in, entailed because of my experience actually in college and in med school that um, I have enlisted the services of a black male psychologist um, as I matriculate through my doctoral program, and also just in general, just just in general, just you know as I live life, um, as I you know, really get to a place of wholeness and being the best person that I could be, uh, physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, like all, all of that is so important, especially for black men who, you know, we don't have uh, enough safe spaces for us to really talk out our emotions and sort through our thoughts and emotions. And so um, I'm really big on being helpful and just kind of having a conversation, just bringing it up in various spaces. I grew up in a church, and so with the church, it's been a challenge because you're taught to pray, you know, and and while that does help, but it's also important to seek our professional help. And so I've been really being, I've been really um, uh, intentional about um, uh, creating that bridge between the faith community and the mental health community. So, so, so some resources that I found helpful are um, psychology, Today, that's the website that you can search to try to find a, a good fit as, a, as it relates to a therapist or a psychologist. Um, you can, if you're working, there's an employment assistance program um, that also provides some support uh, if you go to HR. Um, there's also a lot of apps out there. I, I have another frat brother who created a, an app called Henry Health, 
Henry Health. It's uh, self-care for black men. Uh, another uh, site is Therapy for Black Girls. Uh, there's an app called The Safe Place. Um, so there's a plethora of resources out there that um, are helpful. So I would definitely encourage um, you, if, you know, if you, however you can find a help, get it. Telehealth, if you, if you can afford support uh, to go see someone, find the right fit, uh, be consistent, um, that is so helpful. And so I'm, I'm just thankful for just the support that I have, that I had, you know, growing up, but also even now when, with my family, with my church, with my fraternity brothers, um, uh, with my friends. And so that's all uh, has been very helpful and has got me to a place where I am uh, bringing my best authentic self to any space and place. So um, just want to share that with you. I hope that it's encouraging and God bless. Thank you.